Could you say a word or two about Jacob Gilliard to start with? Yeah, sure. Well, he was amazing. You know, he, he played an incredible game against Davidson, and then tonight he was he was tremendous. You know, his uh, his shooting was was great, but everything else that he did, and <clears throat> you know, we I, I expected Fordham to really pressure us all over the floor. You know, they're a very physical, uh, aggressive team, and then they they played a little bit. So, like some of the teams have played us, really sloughing way off of Nate, really sloughing way off of Grant, and those two guys were in the game. And, you know, Jacob and the coaches, and we're, you know, trying to figure out how to stay with our our usual offense but without getting too disrupted by the fact that they're playing us differently. So I thought, uh, I thought that was really uh, – I thought he really did a great job all around, and he was certainly just – I mean, he was amazing tonight. Why start Gustafson, and what did he give you? Yeah, well, I mean, he was great, I thought, John. Uh, I, I thought he played really well against Davidson. Uh, I feel like I'm not sure if it's been a month or so, maybe a little bit longer than a month since he's been really back. And uh, He's a really good player. He started a lot of games for Richmond in, a, in his career, and uh, I thought that he was just playing really well, and Gave him the start, and I thought, thought he had a—he certainly had a great stat line. I thought he played a very good game. How about uh, Grant Golden's physical condition? Yeah, we're gonna have to see. You know, he certainly had—he um, certainly took a hard fall there, and uh, so we'll have to see. He's—you <clears throat> know—tomorrow morning will be the big test. How, how he feels, I'm sure he'll be stiff. Uh, we'll have an off day tomorrow, so he'll be—he'll be able to work with Andy, the our, our trainer, all. Um, you know, from a couple of different sessions during the day. So that'll be important. And uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit more of an update later in the week. And a way to get Tyler Burton re-energized here. Yeah. Um, you know, he just has to, he just has to play. I mean, he's extremely talented as we know. Um, you know, there's a lot to think about when you're, when you're a player, even when you're a player of his caliber and, um, you know, you just you just have to play. I think that, um, you know, he's an incredible, incredible kid and a conscientious kid. And you know, sometimes it might be better to to not be that that way, uh, just to not care and you know, just kind of just play and not worry about anything. Um, and so I, I think that Tyler will be fine, uh, and I think that he's a great player. And you know, this is not this is not too unusual. Um, but he, he needs uh, – he does hold himself to a high standard. He, he'll, he'll be disappointed with his, with his game. Uh, Chris, the biggest difference in the last seven minutes? Well, they, they, stopped, make, they stopped making every three. That was <laughs> – um, you know, we defended better, I think. You, you know, uh, I talked to the guy. You know, when, when teams are playing um, – you know, kind of a, uh, a, a, a junk defense or a different kind of defense. You know, as a coach, you might be tempted to draw plays and see where the openings are. We, we just talked about keep playing because it, it puts pressure on the defense too. You know, they're switching defenses when Nate's in the game or Nick or, or when Matt Grace is in the game versus Grant. Um, and so the openings might be in a little bit different place, but they'll show up if you, if you can hold onto the ball and keep moving and passing. So I think that worked in our favor, that, that it wore them down to a certain degree, that we were able to just keep kind of moving the ball. And then defensively, I thought we were really good. I mean, we had a number of block shots, you know, nine steals, uh, you know, which is, which is an impressive number. So I think all in all, I think our overall defense was good. They, they made a lot of threes, but I don't think they made too many late in the game. Uh, even though you have a more veteran team, is it still just really, really big for this group just to get a win? Well, wins are, wins are big. Uh, yeah, for sure. You know, um, you know, it was a great game on Friday against Davidson. You know, that's a really a great college basketball game. Um, you know, fun to watch, uh, you know, but really hard to lose. 
and we had had a long break before that. It's a, it's a devastating way to lose. So, you know, to come up here and we're playing against unusual circumstances in the gym. Although I think there were 18,000 at Madison Square Garden the last time the Knicks were at home. Uh, but, you know, unusual circumstances, a team that's, you know, throwing everything at you to make it uncomfortable. Uh, so, yeah, for sure, great to get a win. Uh, do you anticipate Goose starting more uh, after tonight's performance? Does this earn him another one? For sure. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, he's been playing very well. And, uh, you know, he played great tonight. I mean, you know, 11.7 rebounds. Uh, he's guarding the best player. Um, you know, he, he, he had a big block shot. He took care of the ball for us for the most part. Yeah, I, I think so, uh, Lane. The, the last seven minutes, what was the biggest difference? Um, I think it was difficult for us to get in a rhythm in general uh, because of the way they play defense. But, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's just about toughness and getting stops. You know, we, we say it, you know, I feel like every time you guys talk to us, it's about defense and, and find a way to get stops. And, you know, luckily we were able to uh, get some big time rebounds down the stretch um, and just get stops. You know, at the end of the day, we got to make our own luck. You know, guys are going to make shots. You got to figure out a way to make a miss. How <laughs> big was it for you guys just to get a win, regardless of the opponent? Yeah, I mean, huge. You know, um, it doesn't matter who we play. It's, it's got to be all about us. That's got to be our mindset, you know, going in from here on out forward. We just, it's just about us. Nobody else really matters. And, you know, we got to gotta take it one game at a time, but you know, we need wins. Jacob, there was a stretch there in early January where you missed 20 or 23 from three-point range. Hey. Obviously, last two games, a little different. Uh, what happened here? What kind of groove did you find and how'd you find it? It's horrible. 20 of 23. I wish you wouldn't have told me that, JSC. But, uh, you know, uh, I've said it here before. You know, I, I can shoot the ball. Uh, you know, I work on my shot a lot. You know, I get a lot of reps up. At the end of the day, shooters have to shoot. Um, that's what it's coming down to. I have a lot of confidence in myself, and I think I've been able to show that in the past two games. So, for me, moving forward, it just has to be my mindset going in.